The thing that makes rooting complicated is the different variations of Android devices out there. From smartwatches to phones to tablets to phablets, each Android device is unique in its own essence, due to which finding an universal method that could root almost every Android device out there is if not impossible, but it's very difficult. But a good news for all Samsung users, senior most Android developer Chain Fire has released a universal rooting method that could root almost every Samsung device ever released, making Samsung devices one of the easiest to root. So if you pay attention and follow this one tutorial, you'll be able to root any Samsung device out there. So I'm your host HK, let's get rooted. Things you're gonna need. Number one, a computer running Windows, Mac OS or Linux. In this video, we're gonna be using a Windows based computer, but the process is similar if you're using a Mac or a Linux based computer. Number two, a USB charging data syncing cable preferably the one that came with your Samsung device. Number three, the root package for your specific device which will get your Samsung device rooted. Number four, a software called as Odin which will help you root your Samsung device. <laughs> and number five, a Samsung device with above 30% of charge on it so that it does not die during the process. So the only thing that you'll need to download is the root package for your specific Samsung device. For that, click on the first link in the description It'll take you to the official CF Auto Root website. Now, I highly recommend you to read the disclaimer given here. After you're done with that, scroll down and you will see a long list of almost every Samsung Android device ever released. There are about 400 plus Samsung devices here from phones to tablets. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that devices are specified with their model numbers, not with their actual names like Galaxy S5, S6 or Note 5. That's because Samsung devices have different variations for the exact same device based on the country where it is sold and the carriers. For example, the Samsung Galaxy S6 has 10 different variations for the exact same phone, each one of them with a slightly different model number. So in order to find your Samsung phones or tablets model number, go to the Android settings on your Samsung device, then head over to the more section or scroll down until you see the about devices tab. Tap on that, then scroll down until you see the model number section and that's your specific model number. Also make a note of the Android version your device is running on. So the model number of my phone is GTI9500 and the Android version my device is running on is 5.0.1. So make a note of these two things because we'll be needing them later. And oh, I almost forgot. For those of you, let me show you that my device is unrooted. If I run the root checker basic app, as you can see, it says root access is not installed on this device. And moreover, there is neither SuperSue nor Kingroot installed on my phone, which means my device is unrooted at this moment. So with your device model number and Android version on hand, head back to your computer and on your keyboard, hold down Control plus F key and a search bar will pop up on your browser. Simply type in your device model number minus GTI9500. So there's my phone right there. Like I said, you can find almost every Samsung Android device here. We have older devices like Samsung Galaxy S2, Samsung Galaxy Y, Champ and the original Note. We also have newer Samsung devices like S5, S6, A7, Note 5 and the list gets updated every time a new device comes out. So once you have located your device in the list, the second thing that you'll need to confirm is the Android version your device is running on. Make sure that the Android version your device is running matches to the Android version given here. The root packages are updated to work with the latest version of Android for your specific device. So if your device is running on a lower version of Android than given over here, it will mostly work. But if your device is running on a higher version of Android than given over here, then it might work because there are around 400 devices here and it's too much work for Chainfire to update each one of them separately. But if you're not sure about this, then wait until they update the list. Other things like built ID, board number, name, etc. can be ignored. The only two things that you'll need to confirm is your Android model number and Android version your Samsung device is running on because trying to flash a root file not made for your specific device can break your lovely device. So be extra careful here. 
Once you have located your specific Android device in the list, double check that. Then click on the download button at the right side. Then click on the CF auto root download link and the download will begin. It's a pretty small file so it won't take long. Once the download is completed, unzip the root package. If you don't know how to unzip a file, you will need a free software called as WinRAR to unzip the package. Once the file is unpacked, you will find the Orin software and the root package for your specific device. So the game plan is this. This Orin here is gonna inject this, the root package, into your Samsung device. That's how you're gonna root your Samsung device. As simple as that. So open up Odin, make sure to allow the permissions and leave it there. Then go back to your device. Now you will need to prepare your Samsung device to get rooted by putting it in the download mode. So turn off your Samsung device. Once it is completely turned off, press and hold the volume down key plus the home button with the power button until this screen or something similar pops up. Then press the volume up key and your device will boot into the download mode. We should look something like this. Next up, plug the USB cable into your device and place your device someplace where it won't get disconnected accidentally. I'm gonna place it on my computer. And don't forget to plug the other end into your computer. Once your Samsung device is in download mode and hooked up to your PC via the USB cable, your computer should automatically install the necessary USB drivers for your device. And Odin will automatically recognize your device with the first box over here turning blue. That's my phone right there. If Odin is unable to recognize your device, then click the third link in the description and manually install the Samsung drivers on your PC. Once your device is recognized by Odin, you will need to click on this button right here which says AP. Then select the CF auto root package that you just downloaded. It should be in tar.md5 format. Once that is done, you are all set to root your device. Simply click on the start button here and the process will begin, which will take somewhere between 1 to 10 minutes. So during the entire process, please don't play catch catch with your phone, let it sit there and have some patience. Alright, once the process is done, you will get a pass or a reset message with the counter over here turning green. Now back to your device, you will notice some scripts running on your device, which is totally normal, it's a good sign. It will take a couple of minutes, once that is done, your device will automatically restart and you can now disconnect the USB cable. If you followed the instructions correctly, you will find the SuperSue app installed on your device, which means your device is rooted. But let's go ahead and run the root checker app. Tap on the verify root button there. Allow the root permissions. And bada bing bada boom, as you can see it says congratulations, root access is properly installed which means our Samsung device is rooted and the process was a big success. Now for those of you who are new to Android hacks, mods, rooting and all, do subscribe to this channel, it's gonna be really helpful to you. But what I actually wanted to say, Super Su or Super Su here my friends, is the root manager for your device. This is the thing which is gonna make root work. Through this app, you can manage what apps on your device are using root. You can also grant or deny the root access to a specific app. Plus, you can also easily remove root or unroot from here. I had already made a video about uninstalling root. Click here or check the links in the description for that video. Now folks, this method is the most tried and tested method with the highest success rate in rooting any Samsung device out there. Now this is as easy as rooting can get. But if you want to try out something even easier, then you can click here to root your device without a computer. Or you can click here to try out another method which is a bit easier than this one and can root most Samsung devices. If you're watching this video on a smartphone, then the links will be down in the description box. And this goes without saying, rooting can void your device warranty and it has its risks if done incorrectly. So proceed at your own risk. If you didn't get any part of this video, please watch it again and if you have any questions about rooting then feel free to ask it down in the comment section. And as usual if this video helped you in any means consider giving this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like this one. And don't forget to share this video with people who you know want to root their Samsung devices. 
I guess that's about it. I'm your host HK from The Android Guy, signing out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.